Hi, and welcome to part 2 of celebrating a giant milestone for my channel, reaching 100,000 subscribers. In this video, I will unbox the silver play button, which has finally arrived. I will test it with a magnet and use some of your comments about why you have subscribed. I will also tell you a little more about how much this milestone means to me. But first, let's unbox this. Okay, looks like the box was not harmed during shipping, so let's open it. The included letter is of course generic, but it's actually fitting for my channel, so it didn't make me laugh. Just smile a little wider from realizing what I'm unpacking here. And here we have it, the silver play button for my channel. It made it through the postal service without being broken. What a relief. Let's take a closer look at it. It is fairly heavy for its size. The frame is all metal and so is the fin play button. I think it looks great, but I may be biased. It is, however, quite dusty and dirty on the inside, and the only way to clean it up is to take it apart. It does feel wrong to me to take it apart, almost disrespectful. Seven years of work, a hundred thousand people's help to achieve it. But it's actually out of respect for the award and my subscribers that I'm doing it. First of all, I'm a perfectionist. I cannot accept how dusty the award is inside. It would annoy me every time I look at it, but I want to enjoy it. Secondly, it gives me a chance to test the magnetism of the silver play button. Some of you have asked for this test and I think it's a perfect fit for my channel, where magnets and magnetism have played a major role in achieving this award. Luckily, it isn't glued or welded together, so it seems like even I can disassemble it without destroying it. Alright, looks like it's ready to be opened. As you can tell, I'm being really cautious because I don't want to bend or scratch anything. The frame is made of an aluminium profile, a nice solution and definitely not the cheapest one. And now the silver play button is finally out and ready to be tested. Will a magnet stick to it? At first I was distracted by how shiny it is. Some say it is silver coated, but I doubt it. A chrome plating is easier, cheaper, more durable and would be a better solution, so my guess is a chrome plating. Anyway, it is not solid silver. Let's see if the magnet gives us more clues to what material the button is made of. Well, a magnet does not stick to the play button, so it isn't ferromagnetic. In daily terms, we would call it non-magnetic, so it isn't made of coated iron or ferretic steel. But it could be made of a very common alloy. Stainless steel. Forks are typically made of stainless steel and a magnet doesn't stick to this alloy. It is called austenitic stainless steel. Other types of stainless steels can be magnetic, for example the Martin Citix. These have a high carbon content and can be hardened. Very useful for keeping a knife sharp for a longer time. The magnetism of stainless steels is actually rather complicated, because even the austenitic alloy in the fork can turn slightly magnetic if cold worked in the manufacturing. It looks like the manufacturer did some cold work to the business end of this one. In an attempt to spot a weak magnetism in the play button, I tried with a much larger neodymium magnet. I did feel a mild attraction, but that was likely from the magnetic screws used to mount the button. 
The common austenitic 18-8 stainless steel can also be polished to a mirror-like surface, so this may not even be chromium coated. Based on the little info I have, the boring conclusion could be that this is simply made of the same type of alloy as my fork, and just been highly polished. For me, this isn't just a chunk of stainless steel. It is a tangible proof that 100,000 people have watched one or more of my videos and like enough to click the subscribe button. That is fantastic. A fantastic thought, a fantastic feeling, but not just a fantasy anymore. It is a personal victory for me because this is an award that many, including myself, would not have thought possible for me to achieve. I'm a shy guy. I don't like being in front of a camera or a microphone for that matter. In my first videos, you didn't see me. You didn't even hear me because I didn't want to be seen or heard. I don't make videos to be famous. I just like making videos. I have found my creative outlet and I enjoy being creative. Before my YouTube channel, I was just a consumer. I didn't create anything myself. I just consumed. And I'm not the typical YouTube creator. You know, I'm not very young. I'm not very beautiful. I don't like being public. I'm not loud and fast paced. And I don't even swear in every sentence. So I asked you why you subscribed and a lot of people answered, thanks. I have put your answers in some frames, so let's hang it all up above my editing computer. It took like forever to make these posters with your answers, but it was all worth it. Your positive feedback is very important on an internet filled with angry triggered trolls. At the very end of this video I will show all posters up close, so you can pause the video and maybe find your own answer. I was not surprised by how many of you are here because of my magnet videos. They are by far the most popular. I was however surprised by how many mentioned my voice as a reason for subscribing. But that's nice, because I do spend a lot of time on the voiceovers in my videos. Hammer time. Looks like I will be able to hang all of the frames without ruining anything. But don't you worry, I will not turn my channel into a do-it-yourself. Science is still my focus and we will soon take a closer look at the magnetism of the Platinum Group. Look at this. This is fantastic. It turned out even better than I imagined. This is now my new happy place. Because I've got the award, which I'm very proud of. It's fantastic. I never expected to get this. But better yet, I have all your kind comments reminding of why you have subscribed. And this will keep me focused in the future. Not only do these comments keep me happy, they will also remind me of what is working for my channel, why you have subscribed and what you basically would like to see in the future. So thanks again for commenting about this and uh, thanks for keeping me happy. Just the final thing before I forget it. I have a PO box for my channel now so you can send me stuff. It could be a letter, yes I'm old enough to understand the concept of that, or something you would like me to make a science video about. Surprise me? and I may make a video about it. I will finish with your awesome comments. Have a nice day.